Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is John. This report is for January the 1st, 2019. And what better way to start than to look at where we began previous year, back at 18, was all the way up at the uh, 2693 for the open. And of course, we ended uh, all the way back down at 2508. Um, it was really still a powerful year. We had very excellent readings throughout. And as the year progressed, we really started to get that October move that really punctuated everything as I zoom in here. Uh, we started with that uh, overall DOC spread short signal that came in, oh geez, right around that uh, 29, 35-ish range. Uh, if you were intraday, it was even higher. It was towards the upper side of it uh, in the 27. And then we proceeded to uh, literally maintain the short signal by the steel not resetting, and, and it hasn't. So despite intraplay up moves, uh, the broader short has not stopped in any way, shape, or form. So you get the little pops within here, and what we expect to see is a lot of resistance around the 50% of those moves because it just isn't enough uh, of a change uh, from a buyer standpoint to really alter that. And it's currently the situation we got right now. In our particular case, we got to that 38%, which was at the 12, uh, right there, 25.12, and we warned that, hey, that's uh, gonna be a tough spot and we would expect to see a little bit of resistance there. Now, we still have plenty of room with uh, well orange, well below, uh, right at this particular point. And the fact that green has now overtaken cyan becomes the primary guidance as opposed to um, if orange had just popped up above uh, prior to. Uh, it really becomes an important factor in reading this. And that 2505 was a previous algo resistance from way back. So. That was a strong point from well before. And what we have now is uh, just more of a continuation, though we are seeing uh, some yellow extremes here warning that, hey, this could already be getting a little bit long in the tooth, so to speak. But it has the potential because it hasn't flipped. Now, if we see an immediate spider, uh, which I refer to a spider where the cyan pops up, green comes down uh, because it forms like the little legs and a body in between, sort of like a black widow diamond sort of concept, or at least the top part of an hourglass. I know it's a stretch, but at least it gives you a visual idea that there's been a reversal. It hasn't happened yet, so we'll see if there's a momentum continuation. Uh, the NQ here, or the NASDAQ, is slightly below that 38, so not quite as potent as the S&P was. Um, bolstering uh, the market in this particular case, that jump in the euro uh, from the budget deal that happened in Italy, suggesting that, hey, uh, the euro is not a complete disaster, even though um, economically they still are. That helps the dollar situation, which improves trade. So from that standpoint, uh, that's a bonus to uh, the S&P. Uh, deflationary pressures with the lower oil, obviously pushing um, the idea that uh, you know treasuries aren't going to rise, or at least there's going to be a stall in increases, though um, a lot of that is just a matter of uh, money has moved out of the market just as a defense mechanism. But here you can see no inflationary pressure whatsoever. So um, that always begs the question why you're seeing the normalization of rates now after decade plus when you don't really have anything suggesting that it's necessary. Uh, it's just that idea that you have to stop growth or at least unbridled growth, because it hasn't happened in a long time, so therefore it must not be a good thing. That's a side note to what's going on. Gold obviously is projecting a different thing. They're suggesting that uh, there's going to be some real uh, uncertainty and that uh, potentially a change in commodity uh, price structure. So this divergence between what gold is doing and what we see in oil uh, is an interesting one. And I definitely think it's going to add to the volatility because we don't have uniformity uh, of opinion. And whenever there's a disagreement like that, we're going to get gyrations. And that's, uh, in our mind, a healthy thing. Now, what was beautiful about the start of uh, Monday's action before the new year, we had these positive extremes that led from the open and Love to mark that, and that was right around the 2495. So when we started to get sell signals right around where, oh yeah, that's right, the 250550, um, you had a specific target. And the question is, can you withstand waiting for those targets to reach? Uh, in this particular case, we ended up with a little bit of a dip that ended 
the um, now this is a reverse of what we've seen where you have the extended long ends with the cross of the steel so it, in effect the broader push long ended right at the point where you get a little bit of a pop from a signal of course hit that 2505 resistance again and uh, most slightly below that put in another sell signal uh, I remain short throughout that looking for the full target which then was hit from the positive extreme standpoint and at this particular point now you're in a reverse situation where um, the negative side is still in charge of things and that doesn't change for a while even when we get this buy signal down here at the bottom um, from the lows even though uh, it's reasonable with the rising DOC to take profit on those particular we can get around the 23 percent on any of those because you know you're going to get another sell signal we ended up with a very powerful run that and I pointed out this one here with the box right about the 50 percent and exactly at the same algo level uh, the short run ends with that dip of the steel below the red going on through there and then we end up with this nice uh, press move goes all the way up puts in uh, well the early configuration which is right here where you have a uh, move of the steel that crosses the green crossing orange what you're looking for though is that follow through from this bar aggressive yes you can take it but the reality is when you don't have uh, either even red moving lower and green above this can continue um, to press higher in uh, significant bull runs but you get the follow through with the green below and the continuation of cyan and the continued opening of the mouth in particular if you get a dip below that 13.5 and sure enough that took off and again right for the 25.5 back to the 95 paused for a little bit but there was no reset of the steel in fact when it moves above uh, the uh, cyan right there you know that you're still in a continuation short and boom it takes a little bit of a dip right there and then bounces back a little bit uh, but again you know that you still haven't changed that uh, continuation so anytime you get the rejection signals uh, becomes short now here you had a nice little deviation so right at that 2495 tries to pop back up to the 25 but produces the same split reading this time again with green now see the difference between this one right here is you still have green well above red here the green has dipped below red is flattened out and you get the perfect short snake which is the orange above steel and cyan so but it's that crossing of the cyan at that particular key level right there and sure enough that produced a nice little downdraft to where we ended up uh, well not too far off of right around the 95 which is a previous algo um, where a turnaround took place with the uh, orange continued to uh, dip along with the cyan and that produced the end of day run which again all positive extremes and really really close to that 95 level uh, in fact that low is 97 so we can look for a revisit of that once uh, this bull run has changed and uh, we'll be looking for that either in softer dips of the steel below 13.5 should create some weakness probably not the full amount uh, what you're going to need to see will be that uh, steel crossing red to get a much more uh, significant pull back into it so really clean action for us as far as being able to identify exactly what's happening and uh, I think that's just the the key aspect of it because uh, the cumulative points that you add up uh, even if you want to get stopped out on smaller deviations and you're not allowing for the the bigger run which is nothing wrong with that you're still making up for it because the solid signals with the clear targets are providing uh, far more extended profit ranges and you just have to be willing to um, withstand uh, the slow action or any in-between action that takes place in between um, on target for those full moons uh, and for me you know when you get down below uh, the 23 percent you start uh, to start looking for some of those transitions because usually within a week run uh, you often don't even really get much pressure coming back uh, to the 23 I think even in fact we look at that previous run once you get down here it starts to get pretty weak going and once you're making new lows on that these little pops they tend to come under uh, very quick rebounds of orange which usually indicate that oh boom you're going to head back to the lows uh, that's exactly how they work so uh, 
all in all, very pleased with uh, the way the market is performing from an algorithmic standpoint. Uh, it's really on point. There isn't anything that uh, we need to make adjustments for because it's uh, doing exactly as we expect when it gives us the signal. So keep playing with that. I will keep putting up uh, charts on Skype chat as uh, relevant uh, setups develop. And I did a little tutorial on the uh, uh, Skype chat that uh, related to the videos that we were talking about when it deals with this kind of uh, uh, bullish run versus bearish and those transition points where you can look for uh, taking advantage of it in uh, strong moves as opposed to just getting caught in the muck. Because, uh, you know, a lot of times you're just going to get uh, flatness moves, particularly when uh, red gets right around here. What we'll be looking for now will be red breaking below zero. That should create a much more exacerbated decline, which we already know what the expectation is from here, uh, all the way down to that 24.95. So, well, 97 was the actual uh, uh, positive extreme. So, keep that one in mind as uh, trade begins for the beginning of the new year. Trade well, and we will tuck in later.